waste tank pre-charging. Open the access panel. Remove the rinse nipple cap from the RTS rinse valve. Connect the lavatory filling coupling to the RTS rinse valve and fill the waste system with the solution prepared in the lavatory servicing cart. After filling the waste tank with the solution, disconnect the lavatory filling coupling from the RTS rinse valve. Install the rinse nipple cap on the RTS rinse valve. Close the access panel. CMC data download. Phenom 300 equipped with G3000. Turn the fuel pump switches 1 and 2 to off. Open the MFD power circuit breakers 1 and 2 on the left hand and right hand circuit breaker panels. Install the SD card in the upper slot. Close the MFD circuit breakers to start the MFDs. To download the CMC reports, do as follows. On the touchscreen controller, select Aircraft Systems on the home page. Select Maintenance on the Aircraft Systems page. Put the password and push the Enter option to confirm the password. Select CMC logs on the System Maintenance page. Select CAS CMC option. Select the Date and Time option and select the Save CMC Log File to Card option. Repeat the step above for all the date and time options displayed on the touchscreen controller for the CAS CMC field. Repeat the step above for all the date and time options displayed on the touchscreen controller for the CAS CMC field. Select the option Back on the touchscreen controller until the Maintenance Log Status page is displayed and then select the Engine option. Select the Date and Time option and select the Save CMC Log File to Card option. Repeat the step above for all the date and time options displayed on the touchscreen controller for the engines option. Select the home option. Open the MFD power circuit breakers 1 and 2 on the left hand and right hand circuit breaker panels. Remove the SD card. Close the MFD circuit breakers to start the MFDs. CMC data download. Phenom 300 equipped with G1000. If required, delete it before doing the download. Check the avionics software installed. On the MFD, turn the outer knob of the dual FMS knob to select the auxiliary page group. Turn the inner knob of the dual FMS knob to select the system status page and get access to the airframe field. On the airframe field, do a check of the avionics software part number installed on your aircraft. Turn the fuel pump switches 1 and 2 to off. Open the MFD power circuit breakers 1 and 2 on the left hand and right hand circuit breaker panels. Install the SD card in the upper slot. Close the MFD circuit breakers to start the MFDs. Turn the outer knob of the dual FMS knob to select the auxiliary page group. Turn the inner knob of the dual FMS knob to select the OEM diagnostics page. Push the inner knob of the dual FMS knob to get access to the main menu window. Turn the inner knob of the dual FMS knob to access a drop down list and select the reports option on the main menu window. Push the enter key on the MFD to confirm the selection. Turn the outer knob of the dual FMS knob to get access to the reports window. Turn the inner knob of the dual FMS knob to access a drop-down list 
and select the Download All option. Push the Enter key to confirm the selection. When the file saved, SD card may be removed now message is displayed. Open the MFD Power Circuit Breakers 1 and 2 on the left hand and right hand circuit breaker panels. Remove the SD card. Close the MFD circuit breakers to start the MFDs.